Hello everyone, welcome to study ATEC. In the previous videos, we have seen the single phase, single phase, half controlled rectifier with R load, RL load, and with free wheeling diode. All right. Now in this video, we are going to take the RLE load effect of RLE load as we know the RLE load stands for the basically this represents motor the resistance of the winding L is the inductance and E is a back EMF so taking the previous circuits this was the RL type load and we saw the waveforms we got something like that and it is changed when we took the freewheeling diode and the load voltage waveform little bit changed no negative swings now we are going to take the rle load well so the circuit will be the ac voltage is fed here and here resistance inductance and the back emf now we will understand okay they are they are thyristors T1, T2, T3, T4. Now we will draw the waveform here and through the waveform we will understand the operation of the circuit. T1, T2 triggered here, T3, T4 is triggered here. We see this point is pi, this point is 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi and so on. So at this point we will get zero voltage because T1, T2 is forward biased here. T3, T4 in the negative half cycle but before the alpha point is reached T1, T2 is not triggered. So basically four switches are off. So we will get zero voltage at the load side. Then we will get some voltage. Now drawing the current waveform. Here is the trick actually of RLE load. We can assume that the current is starting from here. We can assume before T1 and T2 is triggered, sorry, T3, T4 is triggered. We can assume that current comes to zero, where this point is called the extinction angle beta. This is alpha firing angle. So if this situation occurs, all right, so we will get the negative swing till the beta point is reached. And right after this beta point, we will not get the zero voltage, rather we will get the voltage E here. Because inductance is completely discharged, current has become zero, so the voltage drop here is zero. We will get only the back EMF E, so we will get E voltage here, alright. Then the current is zero. Then again current will reach something like that and we will get the output voltage something like this and again it will come to zero before t1 t2 is triggered and we will get negative swing till that point to pi plus beta then we will get e and again the output voltage and again we will get the current something like that and this will also happen here in the this point also if we consider the steady state Sorry, sorry, it will be here and the current waveform will be this one. I will recommend you to watch the previous videos for better understanding of this circuit. It is always better to watch the lectures gradually. Well, so this type of, con this is called the discontinuous conduction. Now another type of conduction is possible where we will see that current is actually never zero okay that means the current are actually in rl load we saw this one in case of this rl load the current waveforms are not zero which is called the continuous conduction and in case of continuous conduction the waveform we will get will be this is a current waveform and voltage waveform will be something like this. 
T3, T4. So basically what I'm trying to say is that in case of continuous conduction, there is no zero current duration. So the waveform will be exactly like the RL loads continuous conduction.